terms, which is linked out, and that's sort of in process. Shall uh, I share them? I already have. I like oh. made a link there um, okay. so that Katie and Ruth has worked key on. Terms. Yeah, key terms. Um, it's called economic terms. That. So, and we've identified that we're going to use um, this website that I ha actually have up here called How the Market Works to um, essentially experiment with investing 
in the stock market and um, learning about how that works and basically you get a chunk of um, imaginary money. You can invest it at different points in time to like buy stock, sell stock, both in mutual funds and in like stocks. Um, and then you face the con imaginary consequences of that. So you can see I've lost $1,196 uh, since starting experimenting with this. Um, but some, something significant happened in the stock market over the past week and a half. Um, that's really good. You can pass the Yeah, I mean, that shows to it. Like, that's one example of like how bummed out some people can be. Um, so what it's going to look like is we would open up this essential like competition um, where people get a chunk of a mystery chunk of money. So for our practice round, we did a hundred thousand um, dollars, and um, then you can buy stocks. Uh, for instance, let's I'm going to buy stock in let's see Taco Bell. Is that a company? Yes. Um, I don't know if it's coming up. It might need to be more precise. Probably not. Um, so I'm going to go with TSA. So TSA is Tri-State Capital Holdings. I don't really know what that is, but I'm going to buy a lot of it. Um, let's say I'm going to buy, you can buy it in quantity or you can buy it in price. I'm going to buy 50. Let's see. Where do I press buy? Um, over on the other side. Over here, trade stocks again? No, nope, down. It's buy. Like five. Yeah. Oh, oh. How long is it? Click the preview order. There we go. All right, confirm. So you could do it like that, where like clearly I didn't think at all about what it was. Um, or you can spend a lot of time thinking and looking at like, okay, what does Tri-State Capital do? Do I think they're going to like make money because I believe in their product and maybe their like mission? Or do I think they're going to lose money because they're trying to sell uh, horses? And people don't buy horses as much as they buy cars anymore. Does that make sense? Um, so, shortly I'm going to be quiet, but before I do that, I think we need to... You don't have the name in the list. Um, I think we need to consider having a different day to have this meeting. People are leaving to go skiing. Um, I think... Y'all know a better day. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Then we lose the choir people, don't we? What's Monday? Monday happens on June and Wednesday. So, oh yeah. I think any day you choose, they will be a small fraction of people that can come. Uh huh. But it's still get a lunch. Yeah. Uh huh. What about Thursday? No work. So I think we'll shoot for Thursday next week. Um, when I present the idea of reading Red and Roses, which is a book, people weren't excited about that. What do you all think about creating, like us looking at a uh, looking at options for books around somehow deal with the idea of the economy and providing people with like three options? Yeah. So saying like you have to read one of these options and. Um, then we can think of some way of holding people accountable to that. Maybe having like conversations about the book every so often. Mm -hmm. so, like, at, my, yeah. Yeah. at like the whole time I've been at Hazen, we have read one book with a female lead, and it was so depressing. Mm -hmm. I feel like we really need to work on that. Cool. All our books are so sad, and nobody wants to read them. So here's a challenge: Can we find like an awesome and inspiring book about? Uh, that has like a fema female lead who's like falling out of control in the economy. Yeah. I think we probably could. Um, yeah, I think if 
would be the idea of having the people choose like out of three books which one they want to read. So five, like they can choose which one they think that's more interesting for them, so they'll want to stick with it more longer. I mean, gosh, it's so messed up. I just searched for a female economy book and I got like dressmaking in the 1860s. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like that points to how kind of messed up some of this stuff is. Um, but I'm sure we can do better than that. Um, also, I think I like, personally, I would like more writing. We do 15 minutes at the end of the class, and like I feel like humanities and and it's supposed to be events between social studies and writing, and like right now it feels like just social studies or and English. It just feels like social studies. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing that I think it would be good to do would be like um, we could have like like um, we could like every like a writing thing we could do would be with everybody could like pick something they want to write about. So it's not just like we're writing about one thing and nobody really like wants to write about it. So everybody could pick their own. Like writing, like what they want to write about, and their own like styles. It could be like um, creative writing or argumentative or something else. Um, oh yeah, kind of like the stories we did last year. And we could just write about that, but like have like a learning scale that goes along with it, or have some sort of like guided, like somehow guided, but like almost a little like kind of like, like personalized. Because I feel like if we like pick like one writing prompt, like not everybody likes it, and like. Some kids are inspired to like write about that. Um, so we like, like kind of, were able to like pick almost, but like have like, like guidance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Yeah. Can you say what Renee just said again? Um, that we should have writing prompts and like uh, you can choose which one mm -hmm. you would want to do and. Depending on which prompt you chose, if you have a certain rubric will go for that. You could like make your own prompt. Yeah. Okay. About so the book or just in general? Just in general. It doesn't have to be about the book. So rather I guess what I'm hearing is like in addition to the free writing. Mm -hmm. So we have free writing in terms of you can choose if you want to write something that's fictional, non-fictional, argumentative, so on and so forth. But based off of what you choose, there's a learning scale attached with that. And then there's some sort of evaluation or assessment based off of that learning scale. We can have like how like, like a certain amount of words or a certain amount of pages. Mm -hmm. like. What do you think about having like a once a week writing assignment in addition to the free write yeah. that does something like that. So and saying like, like yeah. once a week there's a writing assessment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it, okay. Um, what we had thought of as potentially doing for a writing product would be, was having people write or create a person try to persuade their peers to buy stock in a company that they want them to buy stock in. Oh yeah. So that's that's just one idea of like a like a central finishing product or like assignment or event where I would essentially say like, hey everybody you should buy Tri-State Capital because of the letters T S C are really great. And that would be a one on the learning scale. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, but you could go into um, again, like why you think the company is going to do well and why you think other people should buy it. Like, are they ethical? Are they set up to perform well with the economy as it changes and becomes more, I don't know, whatever it can become? Does that make sense? Does that sound like something that you'd be excited to do? No, I don't know. Not really. Cool. How do we make it something that people will be excited to do? Or some or so we have to do writing. Yeah. And we have to do reading. something reading. I, and we have to do something related to the economy. I don't really think that kids are gonna be like into this stuff. 
stock market so mm -hmm. much. I mean, unless they're like, not so somebody who follows it, but like, yeah. Okay. So I think that I feel like there's current events around the economy, there's historic events around the economy, and then there's local events around the economy. There's probably other stuff too. Should we try to create like a couple of different options, options in terms yeah. of like, okay, you're focusing in on the economy in Vermont or the economy in Hardwick. Okay, you're focusing in on the economy in terms of like historic events. Or okay, you're focusing in on the economy in terms of like really current events or what's going on now. Is that better? That seems, I mean, it could be good, but I feel like that's kind of confusing to Because mm -hmm. you have so many different options now, mm -hmm. rather than if you just had like one, everybody was doing like the United States or Vermont or something like that. Um, okay. I'm going to see if I can pull something else up. Um, so check out this kind of small thing. It's a way of thinking of different activities uh, or assignments that can happen in a class. So you, we, us, independent. Um, I think that some of what we are doing should be really teacher-led. Some of what we, but not all of it. And not yeah, not the majority of it. I think we need to like more smooth things. Uh huh. Um, so I feel like we should have. I guess I don't. I don't know how to work with this graphic, but I feel like there's something important there. We. I feel like we've done a lot of like group humanities work and like humanities work like. Or I mean, social studies work with partners and as a group. We have like, to me personally, I feel like we have not done a lot of English except for 15 minutes of reading and writing at the beginning of class. Okay. Yeah. And I don't, I don't really like that. I feel like there should be more English incorporated in. Because like we have like the on-demand writing prompt. Uh -huh. Like we just, it was like I know that's like on-demand, but like usually. It's so random. Yeah, I just like <coughs> have it done. Renee, yeah. when you say English, what do you mean? I mean. Writing, um, and like in reading, um, so like we could have different, like learning about different parts of writing and different like styles. Like last year we learned about um, plot, mm -hmm. which was something that I think could really help people um, who wanted to write creative and like just different ways, like argumentative writing. We could have like before we did that. Prompt. We could have like had like a just, like a discussion or some sort of kind of like climax. Um, so like we, I don't know what I'm saying. So like um, a little background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you could like the teachers could have of um, like kind of like. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. It's okay. You're doing well. Does anyone else want to take the ball a little bit? We need more stuff to do with like words and plots and not like spelling and grammar. Maybe. Yeah. Spelling and not just grammar. like the like red ink is great, but it's not really like you're yeah, not personally like teaching us anything. Mm -hmm. It's just like if you, you want to learn how to do grammar, then you would like yeah. try. And nobody really like nobody, nobody really does has that. Done, yeah. gone on it. Yeah, like so it's not should be like, like, a, like a lesson or like. Yeah. Yeah. But if it was like the class, if part of the class was you like teaching us how to write a persuasive essay or whatever, then we would be more engaged in I feel like rather than just doing it on our iPad. And more, yeah, more prepared I think too. Like we weren't really prepared for the writing prompt at all. We were just at all. Came up. 
We've done it for a couple years, but like well, you had some bad information. Never did one where someone else to do it. So like if you like could have like given us like a like a rubric before and like a, like different ways so that people are or kids are more prepared to write about that because I feel like yeah we don't know how to some kids don't. So how about this? We. Rather than having like a final product where we're saying like you must convince your peers about uh, like whether or not to purchase a company's stock, have our final product be you have to choose one of the genres of writing, be it persuasive, narrative, personal narrative, um, art of admittative, uh, expositories when you're like telling someone how to do something. You have to choose one of those. And you have to write a sustained piece based off of one of those. I like that. So, like, someone's going to say, This is how you buy stuff. Would you take it Yeah, go for it. Someone else is going to say, uh, This is a story of someone who can stop in a crash and they getting really bummed out. Mm -hmm. And I guess, in terms of grammar, I don't feel confident in my own ability to give everyone like the same grammar assignment and have them engage with it. Because it's gonna be it's like not gonna get in that zone of proximal development or like that good challenge zone for the most people in the room. I think we did sixth grade. I know different like like stuff groups. So like like, a, like one group of kids were in like a lower level of grammar, we even had different assignments for them from different the kids who were in a higher level of grammar. Mm -hmm. Or like, like, like the books that everyone's reading the reading Yeah, you want to come to the gym with me? So, I guess my takeaways from this are uh, Keep thinking, keep working, and we'll get there. Um, thanks for being here. I think the, we'll try to meet again next week. Um, and every like just between now and next week, think some more about this. And if you have anything else to say or share, please say it or share it out. Okay. okay? Thanks a bunch, y'all. Appreciate it. Does this count as me having been here? Carter? No. Dang. Carter! Carter Hill! Oh my god. I'll be thirsty. Carter. Next time. Come next time. Here's some good stuff. What's that? Well, you can get them later on. Mind it. Mind a bit. Don't finish that. You don't like that song? No one does. Don't you come, Ruth? What? Hey, Nicole, I was here the whole time. You're not going to give me one? Nope. Yeah, next, because I was kind of here the whole time. Like, I heard, like. Nope, 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 nope. I heard, like, 50.